Hey, what's up guys? Run a bunch here, bringing you a fourth straight day of another installment of the most under the radar sports betting sports talk show on YouTube, the Run a Bunch Sports Show. So guys, let's go ahead and get right into it. I want to keep today um, especially short. I just wanted to get, bring you guys a few picks early in the day. Um, championship Sunday, all the games are early because they have to be done and the selection committee has to pick uh, a bunch of NCAA basketball teams to make the NCAA tournament, a field of 68 teams that will be on TV tonight. I think like 6 p.m. I think. I want to say like 6 or 7 p.m. That will be on television. I am thinking about making a separate video uh, just basically about my reactions and uh, you know who I like, who I don't like in terms of where they're seated, where, who they're playing, that kind of thing. Uh, so that will either be out tonight or tomorrow. I'm um, pretty excited to do that video, but I definitely wanted to get you guys a few picks um, before that happens today. Uh, I got two NCAA. Um, I have one NBA and one NHL, so that makes four picks for today. Uh, trying to bounce, trying to um, you know build off of the awesome day we had yesterday. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So my NCAA basketball picks today. There are not many games today, so that kind of affects how I make picks. Like yesterday, for example, I think I had four or five in NCAA basketball picks because there were a ton of games to choose from. But today, not so much the case. So my first game today is going to be Illinois minus six versus Ohio State. And this game is at 3.30 p.m. Now, I had a really tough time with this because... The number, I think, is kind of right on the money with this. I, I like Illinois by about six or seven points in this game. Um, my reasoning for this, Illinois is 22-6 and six overall in the season. They have a lot of very impressive wins, uh, including some wins over Ohio State, over Purdue, over Iowa, uh, over Michigan. You know, I, this, this team's been incredible all season. Um, I, I really expect them to go far come next week, but... And especially because they're 18, nine and one against the spread this season, that makes them along with like, you know, Michigan and Iowa, uh, some of the best teams against the spread in the big 10 conference, which is arguably the best conference this season. Uh, I would give them or maybe the big 12, the nod this season, but uh, I don't really want to say the big 12, cause that might make me look a little bit biased. So I'm probably going to say the big 10 is, I, I wouldn't go deepest, but definitely top as far as the top of the conference goes, probably the best conference. This just kind of feels like to me a game, you know, Ohio State has put out a ton of effort. Uh, they beat Michigan yesterday. I think that was a huge win for them and a huge, like, you know, confidence booster, but also I think they're probably really tired. Illinois being the higher seed has kind of had an easier path at this point. And I, I just feel like Illinois has been playing like one of the best four teams in the country this last couple weeks. Uh, they had a loss. I don't remember who they lost to. It might have been like Iowa or something, or maybe even Purdue. Um, but they really shouldn't have lost that game. They kind of lost in like, you know, convincingly fashion, like a lot of points. And I feel like since then, something really woke them up. And that this past week, this weekend, this past week or two, they have looked like a top four team in the country. So I like them to go out here and win by six or seven points for sure. That, that six number, it, it worries me a little bit. It started out around like five, um, but it's up to six now. I would expect it to go up about six and a half probably before the game starts. And I, once it gets to six and a half, I probably wouldn't touch this game, to be honest with you. I would try to get on this as quickly as possible at the minus six. So yeah. Moving on, my last NCAA game of the day, I have St. Bonaventure minus three versus VCU. And this game is at 1 p.m. That's why I'm doing this video so early. I want to get this one out quickly because this is actually, eh, you know what? No, this is not gonna be my lock of the day. I'm torn between my lock of the day today, uh, but this is not gonna be it. Uh, but I do like the minus three. Uh, St. Bonaventure is 13, five and one against the spread and they're 15 and four overall. Uh, both teams on the season so far shoot very similar percentages. Uh, and as the case of this weekend so far, we've seen when teams shoot similar percentages, typically it feels like the better defensive team comes out on top and I feel like St. Bonaventure allows a lot less points per game than VCU uh, so they are the better team defensively uh, so I mean I feel like 
that takes value overall, you know, in a game like a championship game. Uh, and to me, that that uh, 13 5 and 1 against the spread proves to me that uh, St. Bon Bonaventure this season has been able to close out games at a very good rate. Uh, so I, I just feel good about going with them the minus three. I think they'll win by probably four or five points. So I would take this up to about four. Uh, I wouldn't take this past four. I'd probably start leaning towards VCU. So that's my NCAA for the day. Uh, hopefully there'll be a lot more NCAA in the coming weeks. I love March Madness. So uh, Moving on, my NBA pick tonight. It's kind of torn between my NBA pick tonight, but I'm going to go Bulls minus three and a half versus the Raptors. And this game is 9 p.m. tonight. So this is going to be a little bit later than what the other two games were so far in this episode. The Bulls so far this season are 20 and 16 against the spread, which surprisingly, their record, I, I think they're like 14 and like 22 or something or 15 and 21. So that proves to me that this team's pretty good against the spread, despite the fact that they may not, you know, close out games. So they like to keep games close to me. Uh, so I definitely like that factor of the Chicago Bulls. They've won me a few bucks this season so far, but I like them in this scenario basically because they are playing the Toronto Raptors and the Raptors so far on a four game losing streak that kind of dates back to the all-star game. And they're missing some really key players tonight. Um, they're missing OG An Anobi? Anubi. I'm not exactly sure how you say that. I think it's Canadian. I'm not quite sure but uh and then pascal siakam they're missing those two and those two are very uh you know that's their second and third probably i, I would say second and third uh, options on offense so i feel like that's gonna really hurt them tonight against a team like chicago that may not necessarily have the best defense but shoots and scores a lot of points uh so i i basically like the bulls because those two guys are out tonight uh they are they are listed as out unless that changes i would I would suggest this pick. Um, now, if OG and Siakam, you know, if they come back um, between the time this video comes out and the game, then I'm gonna guess the spread probably changes. So I would still think about the Bulls, but I definitely wouldn't be as confident in the pick uh, if those two come back. So that's basically the reasoning for that. Moving on, my last pick of the day this goes to the NHL. I like the uh, Carolina Hurricanes minus one and a half versus the. Detroit Red Wings. Now, for some reason, and I don't really know why, but starting out, hockey has been kind of my thing this in this show. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I'm 5-1 and one so far in this show. I um, actually had a win last night again, uh, my first time picking spread in hockey, so I feel kind of good about the NHL, which is really weird. I, that's something I really didn't expect uh, coming from this show but I'm happy that it's that way. So my reasoning for picking uh, Carolina minus one and a half is that Carolina so far this season is 19, six and one, which basically makes them one of, if not the best team in the NHL, definitely a top five team. While Detroit, the Red Wings, they are eight, 16 and four. They are trending in the absolute opposite direction of Carolina. Uh, this pretty much makes them one of the worst teams in the NHL. Uh, the one and a half spread to me, it feels like it has amazing value right now. I think on DraftKings, it was like plus 110, which is pretty interesting considering um, this stat right here that Carolina has won four of their last five games actually by two or more goals, which would fit that minus one and a half spread. And Detroit, their last, their three of their last five have actually lost by two or more goals. So it actually seems like both teams trend in the direction of this spread yet the spread seems to be the less favored spread. So I, I don't really know why. I don't know maybe if I'm missing something here, but that minus one and a half to me feels really, really good. And since I've been so hot in hockey, I'm gonna try something today. This hockey pick right here is actually gonna be my lock of the day. I've never done this before. I've only ever done NCAA basketball and I think NBA uh, as my lock of the day. So this is gonna be the first NHL pick that's gonna be my lock of the day. I really, really, really like this pick. Um, I don't know if I like it as much as yesterday with Tampa Bay. That game ended up being by a, a three-point win, so uh, that was pretty nice. Uh, but I, I, I like this kind of for the same reasons. So, guys, that is pretty much it for this episode. Just a quick recap. Yesterday, we went 5-1, and one, which is pretty awesome to me. I actually went 7-2 and two overall with my picks. There were some picks that I really didn't feel good enough to give you guys. 
but they ended up kind of working out. Um, I think the only two losses I had yesterday, Oklahoma State didn't quite pull it out against Texas, which Texas looked extremely good. That was the best Texas team I've seen all season. Um, and I've watched a lot of Texas basketball. I really didn't think they had it in them, but prove me wrong. And we also had, I also had a loss personally. Uh, I had Florida State to win the ACC championship. And Georgia Tech pulled a big surprise. If you guys had Georgia Tech to win the whole thing, uh, you know, you put $5 down on it, you win about 110 bucks, I think. So they were huge uh, underdogs to win that tournament. Um, but yeah, five and one. I had Georgetown plus eight and a half. And that Georgetown won by like 30, I think. So that game never was really in question. I felt really good about that game. Uh, and then I had Oregon State plus nine, which they actually won the Pac-12. So good kudos to Oregon State for that. That's two huge wins for their resume. Plus, they'll be an automatic bid now. Uh, they originally probably weren't in the tournament to begin with. But, you know, some pretty solid wins to, you know, they're about a 500 team in the Pac-12, but they ended up getting some nice wins. And then, of course, my lock of the day yesterday, uh, Grand Canyon pulled it out over New Mexico State. I think they won in pretty decent fashion. I don't know the exact score of that game, but I know they won by at least five or six. Um, so that moves the lock of the day back to 500 at four and four. I'd really like that lock of the day to be a little bit better, but hopefully this hockey pick today will drive that up to over 500 again. Uh, so yeah, guys, that's that's pretty much it. 15-7-1 uh, and one, um, this week. Hopefully today makes it 19-7-1, and one, which would be a pretty crazy record, honestly. That's more than double, almost triple the right picks compared to the wrong picks. Um, so yeah, guys, I mean, just bringing you this video basically because I want to keep this trend going in the right direction. Uh, I think as long as I keep making these videos, hopefully the picks will stay hot. Um, there should be, there will definitely be a bracketology video of my, my own kind of, you know, thoughts or whatever, um, coming out tonight or tomorrow. Uh, please guys like the video, uh, you know, subscribe if you haven't, that way you can get notifications of when these videos are out and don't forget about my poor man sweepstakes. Uh, there's, you can go ahead back and watch some further videos to figure out what that it's about. Um, but make sure you're subscribed and uh, comment your final four picks starting tonight because, you know, the bracket will actually be out. So, yeah, guys, that's going to pretty much wrap this video up. Uh, thank you guys for watching and cue the outro.